Hello and welcome Slashers, Night Grift here, and welcome back to my channel. Now for today's video, I will be comparing these two wonderful dolls. So with that said, let's get to this video. Now let's start the posability. Now, one thing I really love about the Todd doll is that it can pose its body pretty much however you want it to. So pretty much you could make it do whatever you want. You just have to be careful that you can't bend it too far, however. Like, you can't bend it too far a certain way or it can break. You could also pose his legs so you could have him sit down or stand up. The only thing is, with this specific doll, this doll has a hard time staying still. Like if you uh, try to stand it up somewhere, and let's say you, let's say you try to take a picture or something, like what I was doing. Um, if you try to stand it up, then it will most likely tip over. I took a couple of pictures with the voodoo doll from Child's Play 1, and he was a bitch to stand up. I had a hard time standing him up. I had to use these two wood sticks in order to stand him up. I had to use these specifically to stand him up. I had to put him behind his legs in a certain way. I had to pose him up a certain way, and it was no fun. This guy, however, you can pose his arms. You can pose them just fine. They pose well. The only thing is you can't pose his feet. So you can't sit him down how you want him to. Because I've tried. It, it doesn't really work. If you set his shoes up a certain way, you got to make sure the position is the right way. You can stand him up perfectly and he won't fall at all. It's good that this guy can stand up perfectly fine and it takes a little bit of maybe a little bit of manipulation and he'll stand up without tipping over at all but this guy this guy has a hard time standing up and it's a little annoying because I've tried to take pictures of him standing up on you know the top of the stairs he tries to tip over uh, you have to manipulate his legs a certain way to get him to stand up perfectly but it's really tricky and it's not easy and like I said, the, the best way to really pose them is by using the, the sticks I showed you guys. Because that's how I was able to pose them for what I wanted. Because otherwise, he has a hard fucking time standing up. It's a little annoying. Yeah, he has a hard time standing up, but his posability is good and better than his. Because he can actually sit down. He can sit down perfectly fine. He, on the other hand, can't. You have to manipulate him a certain way, I think. I've seen people sit him down, but it's not an easy task. Something that irks me about this specific doll is his hair. Like, I don't like the way his hair looks. Um, if you uh, try to, uh, like, if you try to do his hair a certain way, sometimes it'll just go back to in his face like that, and it's a little annoying. So that part of this doll annoys me. This doll, on the other hand, has good hair. I know that his hair is from a wig, but I mean, let me show you guys something. It's better than this. It's way better than this. So to the people that are complaining about the way that the hair is, I'd rather have what this, I'd rather have this than this, because this kind of bothers me a little bit. It's a little annoying. I just don't like how it looks on the doll. So the hair isn't... Oh, I'm not a big fan of the hair. Not a big fan. His hair's good though. I mean, if you want to watch the Tots unboxing and the unboxing for this, I'll have links on the screen below. I, I know this is an obvious detail, but notice how much bigger this doll is compared to this. It is a little weird because I don't think Chucky's this big in the, the movies. And... This doll is, of course, you know, a little smaller, you know, some inches off. But there's a battery pack. There's like a little battery area. And it's obviously there just for show because it's, bro, it has like no, like, it has no stuff in there that indicates that you can really put batteries in there because it all, all it is is just for show, pretty much like that scene where, you know, fucking Karen, Karen peels back the clothes and there's no batteries. And that's pretty much just there for show. Because there's like no like wires or none of that, there's no on and off switch, 
There's none of that for this doll. He does have a battery pack though. I wish he did. I know there's like, there's accessories you can get for this doll and what, like, it's unofficial, but um, Garrett Zima, I believe, makes battery packs that you can install to the back of Chucky. Also, let me talk about the clothes. The, the clothes aren't terrible, but this right here, I'm pretty sure that's all these little icons. Like, all this stuff isn't supposed to be there. It's just supposed to be the good guys. Besides that, doesn't it bother me too much. It's not... It doesn't completely irk me, but... The clothes could be better. Well, with this doll, you know, the clothes are nice. They're really, really nice. So I do really like the clothes on this one. And I know something that bothers a lot of people about this specific doll is that it's a foam body, which I agree they probably shouldn't have chose to go down that route, but I mean, I don't know, I'm not gonna sit here and bitch too much about it, cause it's like, you know, I, I really don't, it doesn't really bother me to the point where I feel like I need to do that, because it's like, you know, that's really, like, whenever people point out the things wrong with this doll, they always point out the, the foam, and I'm like, you know, yeah, I know, but, I mean, I'm just glad I have it at all, you know, because it's a good doll, you know, minus that stuff wrong with it, like, standing, for example, thank you very much, I'm still very pissed off about that night, I tried to take pictures of this guy, and he kept fucking tipping over. So yeah, there's, so there are flaws to this doll, but I love it because it's accurate, and I, I, I regard this overall, still love it, it's a good doll, it's just it doesn't like to stand up when I want it to, or at all actually, and then the foam body stuff, other than that, I love the thing, it's a nice doll, you know, this doll is good too though, this doll stands up perfectly, and it doesn't look accurate, but if you know how to customize a doll, then you can make this guy look accurate as possible. You can make him look amazing. If you know what you're doing, you could pretty much, you could have this guy looking like exactly from the movie probably. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's possible. I'm not sure, I can't remember if I mentioned this yet, but those eyes, um, I'm not a big fan of those eyes. They're just too, they're just too weird for Chucky, because you know, I'm used to the eyes on this doll. They're perfect. But overall, which doll should you get? I mean, if you're willing to pay, you know, 500 for this doll on Tots' website, go for it. Also, guys, real quick, I wasn't sure if I was going to do a full video on this, but do not fall for those scams on websites, please. Selling the doll for under 100 bucks for $50. Don't fall for those, please. Those are completely false. I want to say it real quick before I forget to mention it because I've been seeing a lot of people ask me, oh, you know, have you seen this? Have you seen that? And yes, I have. And they're not real, so don't fall for them because those are insanely cheap prices and they're too good to be true. So guys, please do not fall for those. I know that a lot of, I know that you guys have been seeing them a lot lately. Just don't, don't pay that amount for them because they're scams, obviously. They're scams. So don't fall for them. And I just want to say that real quick because I don't want you guys to fall for that. And hopefully this video gets a lot of views so that you guys can see that those those are just false. Those are just false things. But yeah, if you're, if you're willing to, to pay like 500 on Tots' website for this guy, I recommend it because it's not a bad doll. I, I mean, I like it. I paid for the um, the Kickstarter and I, 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 I love my doll. And yeah, you know, I have some things wrong with it. You know, there's some things I don't love about it, but it's not a terrible doll by any means. And I know some people say that's terrible, but it's really not. It's really not a terrible doll. I stand by that because I love my doll. And I'm glad that I bought him because he's the, he's the most accurate that I'm going to get to. You know, then there's going to be the NECAs and the Cedar Chucky, Chucky doll. So be on the lookout for my unboxing for the Sea of Chucky doll, because I'm really excited for that, and the NECAs as well. But this guy, I heard that this guy is going to be limited, so if you are willing to pay like around 100 to under 100 to get him, to order him online, because, you know, fucking shipping, I'm, I wasn't happy that I had to pay so much for shipping, but if you're willing to pay almost 100 for this doll online, 
or you actually I know some people who got to actually get the doll for like seventy dollars at the store because they actually have a fucking spare Halloween in their town lucky fucking bastards that I would recommend getting one of these guys because you know you don't want to miss out on getting something that isn't gonna be around for a long time so if you could afford one then totally go for it it's not a bad alternative to the tots it's nowhere near as accurate and it's a little taller but the guy stands up pretty well you can pose his you, you can pose his arms you, you can pose his arms if you if you have been thinking about getting one of these I would recommend one yeah it's not the most accurate all around but I mean it's not a bad it's not a bad collectible but hope you guys enjoyed my little comparison video I love both these little dolls man how am I gonna get a girlfriend with all these Chucky dolls I don't know, I'd fucking know but fucking subscribe to join Sirius and Posse family and become a slasher and to support my Chucky addiction I mean I mean where would I be without you guys I mean look look at this guy look at this guy fucking awesome so is this guy too I love you both but yeah, be, be sure to share this video too, because you know, if someone's wondering what doll they want to get, they want to pay a little more, or they want to pay, you know, less, save some money, then you know, send them towards this video. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't not recommend either of them, because they're both good dolls. And yeah, this one has problems. And you know, so does this one. They both have things that are wrong with them, so. None of them are perfect, but they're still great. Yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching my Chucky videos, my Chucky unboxing of this guy and this guy. I will post links in the description. And at the end of this video, to my unboxing of these two guys, they're both separate videos, so there will be a link to the unbox for this guy, and there will be a link to the unboxing of this guy. So, yeah, they're both... You know, bangers, of course, because, I mean, they're coming from me. So, definitely check those out. I really appreciate you guys watching my content. It really means a lot to me. I mean, all you guys got to see is really just these two dolls sitting here. But, I mean, I talked about them. I compared things about them. So, I mean, that's what makes these, this video fucking awesome. Yeah. But, I'm out of here, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, guys, to keep on slashing. I love both of these guys. Keep on slashing, guys.